This video has been created for children and young people to help you prepare for your upcoming hospital appointment. Sometimes we need to go to the hospital because we are feeling unwell or because we have a health condition. The doctors, nurses and other people in the hospital will try their best to help us. You might have heard of coronavirus. Coronavirus can make people feel unwell. Coronavirus likes to travel. It gets around quickly when people cough. The hospitals have made some changes to try and stop coronavirus spreading from person to person. When you arrive at the hospital, if you have traveled by car, you might be asked to wait in the car until someone is ready to see you. This is just to make sure there is not too many people in the hospital. If you walk to the hospital or travel by bus or taxi, please try not to arrive more than five minutes before your appointment. This is just to make sure there's not too many people in the hospital at once. Coronavirus can also spread between objects. To stop it spreading, we have had to put away lots of objects in the hospital. This is to keep you and the staff safe. We are very sorry, but toys are not allowed in the hospital at the moment because of coronavirus. This means there won't be any toys for you to play with while you wait. Please don't bring toys to your hospital appointment. You can leave them in the car or put them away in a bag before you come into the hospital. If you have an outpatient appointment at Morriston Hospital, come to the main entrance. This can be seen in the picture. When you go into the hospital, there are likely to be some signs telling you which side of the corridor to walk down and to stay two metres apart from other people. These changes have been made because of coronavirus and to make it easier for everyone to walk around the hospital as safely as possible. To get to the stairs, look out for the painted glass on the wall and go through the double doors. Your appointment is on the first floor. You could also use the lift. Your appointment is on the first floor. Go to wait in area 4 for your appointment. This is the reception. Let the receptionist know that you have arrived. This is the waiting area. Some of the chairs have black and yellow tape on to help people spread out. You can sit on the chairs that have no tape on while you wait. This is to keep you and everyone safe. When you arrive at your appointment, you might be asked to wash your hands. This is to keep you safe and to stop coronavirus from spreading. You might also be asked to use a special gel on your hands. This is called hand sanitizer. This is to keep you safe and to stop coronavirus from spreading. Another way to stop coronavirus from spreading is to wear a mask just like Tom in this picture. You might be asked to wear a mask at your hospital appointment to help keep you safe. You might also be asked to have your temperature taken, just like Sarah in the picture. The nurse is putting a thermometer in Sarah's ear to check her temperature. This is very quick and it doesn't hurt. When you come to your hospital appointment, you are likely to see people wearing blue uniform, just like Sally in the picture. Sally wears a blue uniform to let other people know she is a nurse. To stop coronavirus from spreading, Sally is having to wear a different uniform at the moment. In the picture, Sally is wearing personal protective equipment. We call this PPE. There are different types of PPE. Sally is wearing a mask, an apron and gloves. If you see a nurse at your hospital appointment, it is likely that they will also be wearing PPE. 
This is to keep you and the staff safe. Even though it might feel quite strange talking to someone like Sally when they're wearing PPE, it is important to remember that underneath the mask, it is still just Sally and she is there to help keep you safe. This is Cara. Cara also wears a uniform to let people know that she is a doctor. Just like Sally, Cara is also having to wear PPE to stop coronavirus from spreading between people. Cara is wearing a visor, a mask, an apron and some gloves. Even though it might feel strange talking to Cara when she is wearing her PPE, it is important to remember that under her visor and her mask, it is still just Cara and she is there to look after you. If you need any more information about your appointment, speak to your parent or your carer and they can give us a call. We are all looking forward to meeting you at your appointment. This slide has more videos you might want to watch. The first two provide more information on PPE, just like the equipment Sally and Cara were wearing in this video. The last video might be helpful if you have worries about coronavirus. You could watch this together with your parents or your carers. We hope this video has helped you prepare for your upcoming hospital appointment. We'd like to thank Sally Francis Dr. Cara Thomas and Noah. Thank you for listening.